from lamps powered by salt to vehicles that make you question your sanity. These rookie engineers have it all. This is the future or maybe just a collection of amazing accidents waiting to happen. For our homemade limo that screams chaotic creativity, the front half looks like a motorbike that's had a few too many energy drinks, complete with handlebars and a slick body that would make Ghost Rider do a double take. How did you make it? I make it, I start from chassis, that is why I make it, buy my chassis, buy my engine, buy everything together, that's why I call this one Tricycle Oma. Why I have another one, Tricycle Limousine. The back is a carriage-like contraption fixed with exhaust pipes straight out of a supercar fever dream. So how original is it? Can How long does it drive? Have you ever driven this for like three hours and it's continued? No brakes failure, no parts failure. So when I finish this bike, I carry this thing with like seven people testing around. Okay, so now he's going to teach me how to drive it. I hope I'm safe. Okay. At this point in time now, this is when you give your life to Christ and say your prayers and commit your life and tell God that you are sorry. Why are you running? It's half Mad Max, half Cinderella on a midnight joyride. Very, com very different compartments. He has his speakers, he has his gear, he has... Surprisingly, he, he can it. even charge his phone here. He has a radio. Spot it in the wild. And you might think the apocalypse arrived with style, or at least a DIY manual. Nigeria is going places, obviously. And now, this is the big deal. He's going to be teaching me how to drive it. A lot of cars is here. You want to do this, we are going to on, on feet to learn you how to ride. But right now, we can't do that here. All right, thank you very much. I enjoyed this. He enjoyed this. He made this. A lot of good things are coming from the giant of Africa and Nigeria. Very soon, this is going to be like the nerds. They're going to be making a lot of limousine, Lamborghinis. Oh my god! Who needs luxury when you've got sheer audacity on wheels? How much did you make it? Uh, if I want to make it for someone, uh, I'll collect like 380,000. The engine have a two plug and it can move very fast. It's like car. For now, it's a free ride. Take it or leave it. If he's going out, if I see him and I shout him, Hey, Oga Homa, three cycle, he will stop and he will carry me free. Hakar! Hakar! Hakar, ya jama'a! Sadly, this is where we are. And if we are to be honest with ourselves, we might have to start from where we are. But ain't gonna lie, Magia has got swag. Some people look at a helicopter and think, too bulky. Well, this genius decided to ditch all excess doors, body, common sense, and built a skeleton helicopter that's basically rotor blades, tires, and sheer willpower. Known as the Wakanda Chopper, it had room for just one brave soul and managed to fly a whole centimeter off the ground before gravity stepped in and said, that's enough. There it is, hanging on sheer determination and duct tape level engineering, wobbling like it's auditioning for a Fast and Furious spin-off. Fortunately, it's yet to crash, proving two things. Not all dreams are meant to soar, and maybe some things are better off left alone. If it ain't fallen off yet, it's still good. My guess is that you've got a fancy gas stove, or maybe a kerosene burner for backup, right? Well, our brilliant inventor looked at all that and said, nah, water will do just fine. Well, there is no electricity. Firewood was not an option. I tested every mother possible and finally remember that electricity is better from water. The water powered stove, a contraption that somehow turns the universal solvent into a frying pan's best friend. While the science behind it might astonish the average brain, one thing is for sure, it's great until someone realizes the water bill's gone up because your stove drinks more water than you. But hey, 
if it works, the guy might just have boiled his way into history. You give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day. <laughs> you teach him to, a f to fish. <laughs> you give him... You give him... A, 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 a. Meanwhile... Welcome to the future. Or is it a toy store? Imagine a shiny silver car with a massive ship-like propeller on its rear and its bottle-shaped body which screams big experiment. This, this is a great Nigerian. Innovation at its best. But white man go see him. They go see him. They go see him. Yeah. This is revolutionary. But honestly, it's unforgettable chaos on wheels. You want to say something? Yeah. Nice. This is phenomenal. <laughs> That's all. I can say. On African soil. Yes. The giant of Africa. Yes. Look at this. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my yes. God. Look at this. Stop it. Get some help. Ladies and gentlemen, this is revolutionary. Wow. This might be the slowest, amphibious jet car I've ever seen. Anyways, someone should assist the guy with spiritual help. Look at this. This is revolutionary. This is phenomenal. That is the ED vehicle on your screen. Since at the moment, we can't decide if it's a car or not. Yeah, from scratch. Please. How many days? How long did it take? Ah, shit. Here you go again. This one took me um, just as much as you can. Share three with weeks. Friends. So, Judy. Yeah, the I'm the mentor, you? yes. Okay, my so name, what's your name? My name is Drew Jai Kenny My name? Yes, your name. My name is Ufu Vue 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 and yet when we Vue Ube Mugwim or Sass. Two. Presently, it can only move on land and sea. And I personally drove it on the city was told me Lambry. Wow. You drove it here. Flashback. This, my friends, is Nigerian road drama at its finest. End of flashback. I know you are eager to see it move on water and fly as he made us believe. But to my disappointment, they forgot to record the part where it surfaced and then took off to the sky. The lower engine, they are responsible for the movement on land just like normal car. Then we have the upper one that controls the propeller. This vehicle you are seeing, this amphibian jet is calculated to move 120 km per hour on land, 80 km per hour on the sea, and in air it's calculated to move 580 km per hour. My time has come. Anyways, kudos to him though. This is the kind of engineering that makes your Wi-Fi connection look like a luxury. Epilogue. You might find yourself doing a double take wondering if you are in an action movie. Regardless, they should keep dreaming big. Who knows, maybe the next world changing invention could be a cell phone powered by mucus.